Hey guys, it's Doc. And uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, I told you about the monster, the gold hog monster dredge that we built. It was sort of a challenge I did to the guys to say, uh, let's make it everything that we're going to do is we're going to get it from Home Depot. So we built something. The main thing we wanted to do is we wanted to have a real fine gold catcher with no rocks going through all the riffles. That was probably the most important thing. So I'm going to walk you through it real quick and show you what we did with it. Uh, you have to excuse me because I had to put two suits on because it started to get cold. So I'm kind of tight here. Um, my fat's kind of squeezing out of it. So anyways, here's the monster hog. And I'll start at the beginning. We've got a four inch hose that goes into a header box over here. And what I did was we put in half inch flat expanded in here. So now everything that's larger then half an inch is getting kicked out, not even going into the box. Then it's coming down, we've got a perf place, one inch, half inch expanded. This half inch expanded is supposed to run all the way down, but unfortunately, before we left, my order didn't come in, so I'm gonna go, I'm, I just grabbed an old piece of quarter inch expanded. This is pretty neat stuff I'm playing with, but I got quarter inch expanded over this, so we're going half inch, which is supposed to be all the way down, to quarter inch, straight you are. Then it goes to scrubber. So you can see that the scrubber is about halfway down there. So I got about half scrubber. We've got it tilted down in the water right now, but um, man, this thing runs great. We've got an engine sitting up on top. Again, this is just a cheap, Eventually, we're going to build another one of these. We're going to have a Keen with the T80 air compressor on it. Right now, we're running an electric air compressor. Um, but we did outriggers. And that's why I wanted to show you. What we found was that uh, we needed a little more stability. So we put outriggers out here, and it works fantastic. We can adjust these in and out. We can take them off. But this whole thing will fit inside the bed of my truck. I can take these off slide them in it's a pretty neat little unit let me show it to you from the front a little bit so there's the wing monster big eight foot sluice bed 18 inches wide running down great capture rate i just did one little clean out and did a little scoop and i've got tons of minus 50s and minus 100s in it along with some nice little pickers uh four inch coming into it running out and then we've got a uh, over here I've actually got a electric uh, 12 volt air compressor system hook a dive system that I'm using right now it's just my backup but eventually we're gonna build this and we're gonna share a TD air compressor over here it goes down and uh, there's a couple big rocks up under here that we're dredging you can probably see the shadow of one of them in here but they're about the size of my truck and we're going in and we're trying to work the edges. They haven't been moved and they will not be moved. And then later on, you think you saw us working down there where we were working some bedrock. But pretty cool little unit. Once I get it fired up again, I'm going to go ahead and show you it running. Hey guys. I want to show you this thing running. Just so you can get an idea of what we're pushing through it. Uh, real high water flow. Good water speed. Take a look at it. Remember, there's no large rocks coming. 